Insomniac Games, the developers of Marvel Spider-Man for PS4, had an awesome live stream recently where they showed a demo that you could play at E3, and I played as well. I can confirm the game is awesome. So in this video, I want to go over all the new info we got from that live stream, including the map size, the open world activities, and way more. And I will also share my impressions. So if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated. And let's go. So during E3, the game was playable for all the attendees. I went inside a European media center where I found some demos as well, and you could play for 15 minutes. You see the demo right here from the live stream, including their face cam and the follow notification that happens like every second because they got like thousand followers during the stream. Anyway, the demo focused on the open world activities and as you see right here, there are a lot, but it was noted during the stream that those are not all. Because the demo does not include the main story missions, the side missions from different NPCs and also other side villains. In the demo, we could fight a shocker in a bank and he will show up after you do some missions or near the end of the demo. But first you have to fight some guys in an alley before you can see all the icons on the map and I got to say the combat feels great there was a lot of stuff you can do and you'll instantly feel like a badass you can like pull yourself towards the enemies switch targets really fast push them into the air and some people like want to compare it with Batman Arkham Knight and I feel that the only thing that is similar are that you have two heroes doing melee combat because this one has way more aerial combat and it's way more aggressive than the Batman games where it's like based a lot on countering. Here you will be using your web and the environment a lot of the times at a rapid speed. A lot of the times things in the area light up and they can use both R1 and L1 to throw them against the enemy. But first you like swing the item around as well so that way you can hit the multiple enemies too. So this part is just a warming up of the demo and after that you can go wherever you want or just swing around that is also a ton of fun of course you'll really see that the webs stick to buildings and I was surprised by how crowded the city was there are a ton of cars and people on the street and that is also something that Insomniac wanted to do plus the fire escapes something you see a lot in New York but is hard to make in a game where you swing around really fast they made it work though and here you see the awesome animation for moving up the wall via a fire escape it looks really really good so let's take a look at the map of new york in this game because it's pretty big we see spider-man like looking over the whole map here and we can also see the map menu and you see that a small section is playable in the demo so like all the things with the more 3d buildings is playable so the things like across the bridge is just there for the sense of skill so here we also see the different icons that represent the different activities. We got the bases that depending on the factions are for example in a warehouse if you're fighting the demons or for example on the top of the building and then you have to fight waves of enemies. So in the demo those are three waves but in the real game it will be more they just didn't want you to be doing like these bases the entire demo. But the interesting are the challenges inside the bases as well that will reward you with extra tokens and those tokens are needed to craft the new outfits. So you get one token for completing the base for example but you will see these challenges with the other activities as well. For example in a base you also have to perform three finishers and use the trip mine on three enemies and you get an extra token for each challenge you complete so you can basically get double or triple the value for doing that activity if you also bother with the challenges so it will be totally worth chasing that. You also got the crime tokens for stopping random crimes that happen in the world so like store robberies or car chases that will be dynamic as well so they might like try to get away and then you will be chasing the cars. There are also like real challenges where you have to like disable bombs before the time runs out or follow a drone through the city and that drone like leaves special blue like bubble type of things and here your traversal will really be tested it and you are rewarded based on the amount of blue things you got during that run and good to note is that you can replay these activities I mentioned as well just like the bases and also the crimes they should keep happening the factions will change things up to keep things fresh 
And also the further you get in the story the higher the stakes will be and the city should also change dimensions and I think this demo is just an early part of the game. They also showed non-combat activities like the research lab where Harry Osborn has you investigate things and has you do these like puzzles but the puzzle that you see right here is just one of the puzzles you can do and during those missions you will also get a little bit of story and the reward for these missions will be research tokens that again are also needed to craft things like new suits, gadgets, gadget upgrades, suit mods. There are three mods on your suit they mentioned and every suit also has a special ability and you can mix and match those as well. So have different suit powers on a different suit. It also was noted that not all the suit powers are combat oriented so maybe some support abilities or traversal abilities should be very interesting for sure. By the way, a last bit of info about the suits. We now know six of them, the noir suit, the advanced suit you see in the demo gameplay, the punker suit, the classic suit you will start out with, the iron spider suit from Avengers and the homemade suit they tease in the iron spider suit trailer. And those should be just a small amount of these suits that will be in the overall game. So there should be way, way more. And again, you unlock these suits from the crafting materials you get from doing these activities in the open world. But it also depends on your level. So for example, at level 5, you unlock some new suits. Then at level 10, and then at level 15. And if you pre-order the game, the Punker, the Iron Spider, and the suit that is still unknown will be available from the start so I think you can like immediately use them while otherwise you have to like work towards them and you also like need XP to level up and then you also unlock new abilities and I think that in combination with the gadgets will make the combat feel really varied as you play more during the demo it was still new for me but I already saw that oh if this is like the thing you do all the time it can get repetitive but it seems like there will be a ton of upgrade options. And there should also be a ton of finishers you can do. So you build up this focus meter and then you can do a finisher. There were only five in this demo, but there should be way more at launch. They also showed a few landmarks in the demo, like this building that is pretty strange. <laughs> they showed the spot from the E3 2017 demo where that mission took place. So you can like already go there, but nothing will be going on at that time. Only when you have the mission active. They also mentioned that the Avengers Tower is of course in the game, we already knew that. And that there is some awesome stuff to do in Central Park that they were really excited about. So that sounds pretty cool. It should be a big part of the map and we probably can't swing there because you of course attach all your webs to buildings. So that will be an interesting part of the game I think. So of course we are also going to touch on the boss fight with Shocker in the bank that shows some awesome mechanics where we had to like throw things at him to nuke his shield and then engage with some melee combat. So they teased we would see more side villains that will likely show up after you do some side activities. So I'm curious to see who they are. I can see the villains we saw in the E3 2018 trailer they showed during the press conference that they will like go into the city and cause some chaos there that we have to stop them there. That would be pretty interesting or it could be some villains we haven't seen in the game before. So some other info while I show you this shocker fight. So there will be sections where you play as Peter but not in the open world. They want to focus on Spider-Man in the open world and give like more specific missions for Peter. Like at his work you will be doing work. Peter is a scientist in this game so maybe some puzzles as a scientist. There will be a weather system in the game that changes depending on where you are in the game or what mission you are about to do. And at the end of the game you can change it whenever you want. So if you want it to rain then you can have it rain. You can also toy around with it in the photo mode that will be coming at launch probably as they are still working on it and it is not in the playable demo so they could not show it in action. So a lot of people during the live stream were asking hey can you put the demo on the PlayStation Network but they said that it's not as easy as that so they will have specific like real live events where they will show the demo throughout the summer. So Gamescom is a safe bet for sure and they also said that they will unveil the last pre-order suit at a special event in July and that it would be pretty obvious which 
event it was. So I think San Diego Comic Con on July 19th is a safe bet. I think there they will show like a new trailer for the suit and also have the game playable at the show. Another big question mark is the collector's edition statue that they will reveal before the release. But it will be a spoiler for the game they mentioned. So the box should say do not open until you play far enough into the game. So it will likely be a villain they haven't showed, a companion they haven't showed or something that happens to Spider-Man. But either way it will be weird to have the collector's edition arrive at your door. I have it pre-ordered as well and of course when you get like the box you want to open it but then they say yeah wait until you like almost finish the game. And you also then have to dodge the internet because some people are already going to open it of course and are going to show shots of it. I mean not sure if it was the best idea to make a statue of a spoiler in your game but okay. They said they have no rush to showcase the statue before the release because all the collector's editions are already sold out. And that was it in terms of info I wanted to share in this video from the things we learned during the live stream and of course from what I played. When we know more about the game as we near the release, I mean it's less than 3 months away at this point so really really close. So when we know more I will of course let you know here on the channel so subscribe to stay up to date on everything. When the game launches I'll be all over it as you come to expect from me from these big Sony games. Support the channel by pressing the like button would be appreciated. You can check out my video on Ghost of Tsushima because I learned some interesting things during a behind closed doors session at E3 2018. Thanks a lot for watching, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.